When you start a new document in SOLIDWORKS, you'll notice that your origin has the Y up. That's standard in SOLIDWORKS. We'll do some drawings where we need to have the Z up, especially if we're preparing for manufacturing or machining. So in order to do this, we're going to select this particular view. So click normal two, so you get the front plane. At the top here, let's find our view orientation, and we'll click that drop down. We don't have as many options, so we're just going to click more options. Click update standard view, and then ask what we'd like to assign it to, and we're going to assign it to this top here. We'll say yes. So now this should be our top view here. To make sure that this makes sense, yeah, this is still called front plane. This should be our top plane. So we can right click, rename the tree item. And now I'm just going to call this T plane. I'll right click, rename. This will be front plane. And I'll go back, rename this item to top plane. So now when I select that plane and look at my view here, I know that all of my objects are in the right place, all my work planes are in the right place. That's one trick for making sure that this is a standardized ZF template. When we're done, we can just go File, Save As, and we'll call this a Part Template. And I'll call this Part Inches Z Up. Let's exit this document. When I'm in SOLIDWORKS and it asks me, I have a recent template right here. So I'll click on that template and that ensures that my Z is up. If I go to my symmetric view, you can see my Z is up and my Y and X are in their correct positions. The top plane, the right plane, the front plane.